Thanks a lot for playing. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Sounded great. Gallery run through. This is the closing of the uh, We Got Power show here at Pop Obscure. The show's been hanging for a few months. Uh, features a bunch of prints from uh, Jordan and mine's book. Also called Wait for It. We Got Power. Uh, this show is about a selection of a uh, hundred or so photos. Or, Somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 that we picked especially for this show here at Public Square in downtown Los Angeles. 
Uh, some of the photos are exclusive um, to this show. We brought them in as new photos. So. The bulk of this work was seen uh, about four, actually five years ago now, in 2012 at uh, Track 16 in Santa Monica, California. And uh, Jeffrey Lee Pierce of the Gun Club. Some early Robert Hecker, like pre Red Cross era. Uh, Robert Hecker, that is, singing with White Flag at the Vex in 1983. We go upstairs. The gallery continues. Superstar from some caves. 1985. Also. While shooting the Black Flag slipping in music video, there's Henry with one of the featured talent of the music video. I don't know her name, sorry. <laughs> it's about, oh, 33 years ago now. One of my favorite ones. This is actually by Jennifer Schwartz, um, taken at uh, Jennifer and Jordan's mom's Sierra Vista condo in Santa Monica back in 1983. Basically, here's uh, Stephen McDonald, sort of pre Johnny Tremaine, Stephen McDonald, uh, sort of seeking the character out a year before we even started filming the Love Bells film the first time. Same, same night. Different night. Pop the walk of Moody Defiance at a venue called The Barn in Alpine Village in Torrance, 1982. The Rodney Bingham-Hammer picture I took um, this was taken in the 90s, um, early 90s at some point. Jello Biafra, uh, Sound of Bell Superstar in 1985. Uh, Pat Fear, aka Bill Bartell, a dear friend, rest in peace. Vex, East Los Angeles, 1983. 
an image of mine, which he was uh, taken in the basement of the mask. Deskadina passed out there. America's sitting on a time bomb, fast asleep. Mike Watt and Carson Moore, late 80s. Kim Gordon at the Apple Pan, around the same time. Some images from uh, 1991, um, Sonic Youth. Babes in Toyland, um, backstage at Reading. Here's an image that uh, Thurston Moore actually took. Myself and uh, Kirk Cobain and Kim Gordon. It's a Reading Festival, 1991. This is uh, Excuse me, the last show of the tour. Uh, Alright, go ahead. If I want to buy one of these prints, do I just give you money? Uh, you speak to the lady downstairs. Alright, cool. Yeah. And like, so like walk me out here? Or, like, yeah, yeah. Which one, which one are you interested in? The one. Oh, uh, this one? Okay, yeah. It could be unoriginal, but... Okay. Uh, yes. killer, man. Great. Yeah, nicely framed. Yeah, yeah. In the so fire. Yeah, one just go downstairs. Right on. Thanks for the picture. And uh, there's a sale right there. This is the closing night of it, so this is pretty much all the stuff. We'll go back in a box somewhere and wait till the next show. Pat Smear, also in the 90s. Mike Nessel's Distortion playing Someone's Kitchen, House Party, Silver Lake, 1982. And, uh, of course, Okie Dogs, Image. Closing into pretty much the last image of the show with Dennis R. Jr. in 1991, ready. So, pretty much sums up our live broadcast. As you can see, Mike Watt has already loaded out. No trace of the missing men's gear here. There goes the kick drum out the door. All right, good night. Hope you enjoyed.